Maureen O'Connor was a beloved former mayor of San Diego, but O'Connor's life took a stunning turn after it was revealed that she gambled away a fortune. Prosecutors believe she won and lost more than $1 billion playing video poker. O'Connor sat down with our Bill Whitaker to explain what she thinks led to the addiction that has left her bankrupt. It's an interview you'll see only here on CBS This Morning. What's the worst of it for you? I couldn't do it in private. If I had my wish, I wished it would be Gamblers Anonymous, not Here's Maureen's story. Maureen O'Connor says her story plays out in two acts. Maureen One was mayor of San Diego. Her second act is unfolding in national headlines, a tawdry tale of gambling and lost fortunes. The widow of Robert Peterson, the founder of the West Coast fast food chain Jack in the Box, she inherited as much as $50 million, say federal prosecutors. I used some of that fortune to help people. And then some of that fortune, when I started to become more into, went into uh, an addiction of gambling. You lost it. Yes, I lost a fortune. And I'm, for that, I'm sorry. Her game of choice, video poker. She was such a big spender, casinos in San Diego and Las Vegas would lavish her with gifts to keep her coming. She would have come anyway. Uh, it was electronic heroin. You know, the more you did, the more you needed, and the more it wasn't satisfied. How much would you lose in a day? I could lose more than 100000 in a day. In one day? Yes. Increasingly desperate, she started to sell off properties to raise millions more including a house in this exclusive beach community in La Jolla, right by neighbor Mitt Romney. And only after all that was done did she then go and raid a private foundation of over $2 million. She took the money from her husband's charity. She called it a loan to be paid back. Federal prosecutor Philip Halpern called it money laundering and says she won and lost a staggering amount. Oh, we're talking about billions with a B. It's not against the law to bankrupt yourself. The violation was that she raided that charity of $2 million. For O'Connor, now penniless, it's a public humiliation. That I never meant to hurt the city of London. San Diego once loved her. She was the first woman mayor. From 1986 to 92, she brought in light rail, a convention center helped transform San Diego from a sleepy Navy town to the country's eighth largest city. I was interested in doing everything I could to make the city a better city. As mayor, she was always in control. Her gambling was out of control. I thought I could beat that machine. And when it got worse, I didn't know I had the silent uh, grenade in my head that could go off at any time. The silent grenade was a golf ball-sized tumor doctors removed from her brain. They discovered it two years ago when she started hallucinating. She says she believes the slow-growing tumor contributed to her gambling addiction. It's not an excuse for my gambling, but I think that was, yes, part of it. You lose your uh, sense of control. The tumor could have affected her behavior, says her neuropsychologist. In about 20% of cases in tumors, uh, psychiatric personality or behavioral changes oftentimes are the first symptom of a tumor. She began her gambling run in 2001, a decade earlier. It would have to be a pretty slow-growing tumor. Halpern says the Justice Department will drop the charges the if O'Connor repays the charity and gets help for her gambling no addiction. After the tumor was taken out and I started uh, healing. I have no desire to gamble. She does desire her city's forgiveness. I hope they would remember Maureen 1 and Maureen 2. I hope that they would understand. For CBS This Morning, I'm Bill Whitaker in San Diego.